Hey guys, it's Evelyn. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video talking about why I became an environmental science major and if you should too. So without further ado, let's just get started. So I guess my little backstory is I've always been very interested with and inspired by nature. So, you know, my whole life I really liked being outside. I liked planting trees. I liked planting flowers. Like at recess, my friends and I would go find like little weed flowers and stuff, like little dandelions and things and like dig them up and go replant them in different places and try to make our little like gardens outside during recess. And I just really liked nature. And from as long as I can remember, I was always a person that was like, oh my gosh, they're litter. We have to pick that up. Please recycle, please. Even though our recycling system is kind of trash. Besides that, I was just always very into environmental things. And once I got into middle school and high school and I started learning a lot more about current environmental issues and like the science behind it, I just got really into wanting to stand up for the environment and do what is best for it. And initially I decided that I wanted to be an environmental engineer because I was really into math and science in middle school. So I started looking at Clarkson University, which is where I go now actually in middle school and one of my like home ec classes when I just start researching our futures and Clarkson is really good for environmental engineering. So I started looking there. And then in high school, after taking some engineering classes, I decided that I was really more into the science and policy side. And I really liked ecology and I was also interested in history and law and writing. So I was really into that side. And I saw that Clarkson University, which was still on my radar at that point, had an environmental science and policy major where both were combined. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. So that is my major at Clarkson, is environmental science and policy. So it's got a pretty heavy science focus, but we also take policy and law classes. And another fun note is that I have a literature in the arts minor and a communication minor as well that I'm working towards. And if you want to see my last video, I talk about kind of my future plans, what I'm thinking about doing, why I got those minors, all that stuff. And I have a bunch of other videos on my channel that talk about all the classes that I have to take for my major and things like that, and different types of environmental science majors and just a day in my life. So you can go check those out. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. Hopefully my next video will actually be on campus in my apartment. We're excited for that. But yeah, so that's really why I decided to major in environmental science. I was always just really into nature. And then in high school, I got into environmental awareness club and I was taking like really cool biology, marine biology and environmental science classes. And I was like, this is my jam. I really like this. But I was really was passionate about like learning about zero waste lifestyle and going vegetarian and that kind of thing. So I was just like, I really want to major in something where I can learn about the planet and how it works, but also can work towards creating policies and working with companies to make better, more eco-friendly decisions. So now on to you guys, if you're thinking about what you want to major in in college or if you want to switch majors, is environmental science right for you? So first thing to consider is that you do have to take a lot of science classes. So if you're really not into taking biology and chemistry and physics, and also you to take calculus and statistics and stuff like that. If you're really like not into that, maybe you could look at more of an environmental studies degree or an environmental policy degree where it's more just focused on the law. But I think it's really important that our policymakers, which is what also Clarkson believes in why their major is environmental science and policy, is that our policymakers and lawyers and all those people really need to understand environmental science in order to have and create effective policies and laws. So I think if you really want to help the planet, you do really need to understand at least the basics of science. So I would like, if that's really what you want to do in your life, convince yourself that you're going to have to take some science and it's going to be awesome. But again, if you're really not into science, there are more just straight up environmental policy degrees that do have less science, but I'm sure they probably still require you to take like ecology and stuff. And I guess on the flip side of the science is that environmental science also really incorporates how humans interact with the planet, how the planet affects humans, how humans affect it, human health, policy, law. So even if you are just a straight environmental science major and don't have like a policy component of your major itself, you probably will have to take, you know, humanities and policy courses because that's part of environmental science is figuring out how humans and the earth can work together and like recognizing that humans are just a species on the planet and that we're part of nature and not separate from it. So that is something you're going to have to learn about. So if you're really not into like people and laws and anthropology and stuff like that, again, you can really tailor your major to really just focus on the more sciencey parts, but your school's probably going to require you to take 
some of those classes. Another thing to consider is that an environmental science degree is really broad. So environmental science is kind of like an umbrella to a lot of other types of science majors. So if you're okay with not really following like a specific track with your undergraduate degree, that's something to consider. So like I'm take, I had to take, you know, biology and chemistry, and I'm going to be taking ecology and environmental science next year. So there's like lots of different types of sciences that you have to take. And I've heard environmental science described as applied ecology, kind of like how engineering is like applied math and science. So it is really broad. So if you're really more into like marine biology or ecology itself or something more specific, maybe do look for a more specific major. Otherwise, environmental science is really good if you want a broad understanding and if you want to go to law school afterwards or go work in policy, that kind of thing. And also it really sets you up for grad school if you want to go get a master's or a PhD in environmental policy or you can get a PhD in environmental science, but you'd probably be doing your dissertation on something really specific, but you could go to a more specific PhD, like something in ecology or atmospheric sciences or something like that. Or like climate change, I think is a PhD that you can get now. So it's just, if you're not really 100% sure like what type of science you wanna do, but you know you wanna work with the planet, environmental science is a really good way to kind of figure that out. It's really broad, but you can tailor it. Most schools, like you choose types of classes that you want beyond the specific requirements. So you can really tailor it to exactly you know what type of area you want to focus on in environmental science which is why i'm really drawn to it because i really loved like all the classes in high school you know i loved science and i loved history and english i'm an author if you didn't know check out my books down below <laughs> but so i really liked that i was able to kind of combine all of those things with environmental science and i guess another thing is that you really need to be passionate about it because environmental science is it can be intense, like emotionally, I guess, because you're gonna be learning about climate change and how we only have like 10 years left to fix the planet and how, you know, politicians really aren't doing enough. And it's gonna be kind of depressing and sometimes at some points, but it's also gonna be like really uplifting to be learning about the things that people are doing and how we can save the planet and, you know, change our ways and work to protect animals and plants and all that stuff. So it's gonna be kind of an emotional roller coaster. And I really just, wouldn't major in it if you're like, oh, I just, you know, want to major in something science. Like I would really be passionate about the natural world and learning about the natural world and wanting to help it and teach people about it. My eyeball is twitching. Ooh. So I would just have like good motivation behind it. I mean, obviously going to college, you don't have to know like exactly what you're passionate about but when you choose your major. So if you are kind of just unsure, you can start with environmental science and see if it's for you. But if you're going to stick with it for the long haul, I would make sure that it's something that you really are passionate about, especially because it might be kind of hard to find a job also. Like I know environmental science is a growing field, but it's still difficult to find a job that's going to be something that you really like. Like maybe there'll only be consulting jobs at like corporations that you don't really want to work for or maybe you, yeah, you won't be able to get like the government or nonprofit job that you want like because I know a lot of us like learn wrong science we really want to work for like the good guys and do lots of really cool advocacy work and stuff which again is like my dream but sometimes that's not always possible so understanding that you might have to just go do like soil sampling and stuff for a company for a couple years until you can like find your dream job like being okay with that which that really goes with any major but just something to think about, really look at like your career options before you take up the major. Which again, in my last video, I talk about what I wanna do with my major, what I'm thinking about. So go check that out. Anyway, that's really all I can think about to <laughs> talk about. But if you have any more specific questions, comment them down below and check out my other environmental science videos. I think those ones are really helpful. You guys seem to be loving those videos, so I'm glad they're helping you guys out. And if you have any specific questions, feel free to comment them or send them to me on Instagram, anything like that. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video, which will hopefully be moving into my apartment video or an apartment tour or like a first day of classes, some sort of video like that. So yeah, stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.